So deliberate practice as a concept was really codified by the psychologist Anders Ericsson. And what's very important about it is that he distinguishes between just general practice and deliberate practice. Yeah. So merely picking up your instrument and playing scales that you know, just playing them over and over again, that's general practice. Mm. But if I'm practicing it with a certain finger technique on the guitar, for example, mm. and I'm not actually identifying where my weaknesses are mm. and deliberately each time I'm running the scale mm. in a focused, conscious way, mm. trying to correct the weaknesses mm. while simply running over something again and again might be reinforcing mm. poor habits. Mm. Or at the very least, you're improving you know, a little bit at a time rather than improving in drastic steps. Mm. It has to be at your edge of your skill, knowledge, or capacity. Or and comfort zone. Or comfort yeah, zone. Yeah. Every song I write, I'm actually trying to do something that makes me slightly uncomfortable.